All right, here we are, Saturday, November 19th, 2022. We are at the Eljo Bean Fishing Pier, catching up after the hurricane. I did a video here a couple months ago before the hurricane, Hurricane Ian. And um, so this is our post. You can see a lot of the trees are kind of chopped up a little bit, broken. Not quite as full of vegetation. I'll put the link in the description here so you can check out the previous video. Yeah, that tree's pushed over. Everything's pushed to the south from this storm, usually. Yeah, another southern meeting. Oh, there's something new. We didn't see that before. Some kind of uh, concrete structure box. Wow, that's weird. I never, wow, I want to go over there. I'm going to go check that out. I'm, I'm getting some head shake and no here, but. Bad idea. Man, I really wonder what that is. Oh, yes, yeah, there's that phone, that uh, some kind of communication cable there. Maybe it was a uh, ice house or something. Who knows? Huh, unusual. Did not see that there before. I could make it through that. I could get over there. Yeah, a little reinforced concrete structure there. I don't know if it's got a roof on it or maybe it's a whole box. No telling. But yeah, you can see the trees are a little... Uh, Yeah, you can see all these trees here. These are all kind of mangled, pushed down. Yeah, see a few blue roofs across the bay over there. Yeah, a lot of these are, all these trees are smashed up and mangled, pushed south. Everything leaning that way. Wow, all the uh, vines and stuff are all dead because they got burned up in the wind. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. We're going to be looking out for the red tide. We don't know how much. Well, of course, yeah, with all this vegetation getting uh, knocked off the vine, so to speak, Not in, one boat. in one day. It adds a lot of nitrate, natural nitrate, to the water. Okay, here's a nice little shot. Oh, there we got a little gray heron down here. Yeah, not a boat on the water. I don't know, I'm not tasting or smelling any red tide, but... I'm not seeing any dead fish. But... Uh, yeah, the all that vegetation that got ground up, killed, and uh, basically washed into the bay is a big nitrate boost for the system, which can trigger more red tide. But some people said, oh yeah, it's going to be more red tide, and some people said, no, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But there is a lot of red tide around, just I'm not seeing it here, though. All right, here we are stepping onto the old, well, at least the, uh, you know, the whole, the, the pier's still here, huh? I said most of the mangroves did good. <laughs> They're paid to do good. <sighs> but yeah, when you talk, when you talk, when you talk, when you talk. And of course, we're looking at the El Jobin Bridge here. On our left. Oh, that's um, 
used to be able to see the uh, forestry tower, the El Jobin forestry tower, which is not there anymore. That blew over. I never did get a good shot of that. I tried a couple times, but for whatever reason, the recording stopped while I was driving by. I never got it, but the El Jobin fire tower is no more. Wow, really kind of nice out here today. See if we can. Oh, I can see the bottom there. The water's actually kind of clear. I mean, a little brown, but. That hole needs replaced, huh? Well, we see some crab pots up here. A few people fishing. Motorcycle gang. Yeah, the tide's pretty high. I think it's starting to go out. Or I'm sure it's starting to go out now, but uh, yeah, it's pretty high. But uh, yeah, here we are out under the span, and you can see the water starting to go out. All right, I asked the one one fisherman over here. I asked how they were doing. He said he caught a 30-inch snook earlier. So, and this is the place to catch them. I've caught more snook right here under these fenders than uh, any other any other place I ever fished. This is, this is where you go to catch snook right here. Oh, and tarpon too. Catch a lot of tarpon here. <clears throat> really nice out today. Temperature is, uh, gee, I don't know, about 74. Five, really light breeze. Really. See a few birds out there working. Yeah, might be some bait fish over there. Oh yeah, they're diving on something. So, yeah, if you're seeing little schools of fish and birds diving and no dead fish, that's better than seeing dead fish and smelling red tide. Wow, I can see a lot of blue tarps over there on that end. Like one, two, three, four, five, five or six over there. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whole bunch down here. All right. Well, I guess that's going to conclude our tour for the day. Unless you want to sit here and look at water. Yeah, I wonder what it was like out here at 125 miles an hour. Yeah, all those trees over there, you can see they're kind of, they're a little scraggly looking. Not seeing any mullet or anything jumping out there. We've actually had seen sea turtles in here. They get lost, they get caught up in here. I don't know how they ever get out, but I imagine they do somehow. Remember that time we saw a sea turtle out here? We couldn't tell what it was and it was a sea turtle. All right, I think it's a pretty long video. I'm going to conclude this today. Oh, 
Oh, somebody's got something over here. All right. Fish on, fish on. Okay, we're gonna hold on. See what this guy's got. Huh? No oh, man, it's a monster. No, oh, maybe not. He might have something, we're gonna see. So hey, what's your language? So yeah, that guy caught a little snapper back there. A little red snapper. So, yeah, better than uh, seeing red tide out here. Since we got somebody fishing down on the other side of the bridge over there. I don't know how you get out there. He's out there, though. No shirt, shorts. All right, well, that's all the excitement we could muster up here. Hope you're having a great Saturday.